So what other tools can, can we use if, uh, if we want to find out what motivates people? Another tool that you see behind, I mean, we see behind you and, and also on the shelf here is the leadership game, yeah. right? That's definitely one of the best, you know, uh, team development tools that helps us kind of, it helps us open up, like it helps teams open up in a more informal way. Because there's one thing that yes. you know, or Madalina comes in as a consultant and I'm coming with, you know, my notebook and my pen, I say, okay, so let me watch what's happening here in the team and kind of then create a report for the leader. If I do that, yeah, then yeah, people yeah. put their guards up and say, I'm not going to yeah. do anything. You know, I don't know who this guy is and I don't know the agenda. So instead of... I don't want to collaborate, kind of, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Instead of having that kind of scenario, what we do, we actually, we play a game, right? And when we play a game, you know, we tend to be a little bit more relaxed and informal. But through the questions in the game, we are able to learn a lot about our team and, uh, yeah. and what, mo what motivates our team. So we have lots of tools and there are lots of tools, um, you know, online that, that could help, uh, not necessarily online, but out there that could help uh, leaders find what motivates their people. But as I said, everything starts with curiosity. I think if you are not curious enough, if you Thank believe you. that you already yeah. know it, then... You're not going to engage Modelina to play a game. You're not going to want to take our assessments. You're not going to put a time to learn about your team. So um, I think that's the first mindset shift we want to make, you know, to understand that as leader, we must know what motivates each of our team members. We cannot just assume that we know.